Hello and welcome to the presentation of our ICCV 2021 paper. MG GON, a multi-generator model preventing out-of-distribution samples in pedestrian trajectory prediction. In this paper, we tackle the problem of pedestrian trajectory prediction. Given the past position of a pedestrian, we aim to predict the set of possible future trajectories. Consider a pedestrian reaching a crossroad. Here, the pedestrian can choose three different directions. When we consider the distribution of realistic trajectories, we find that it is spatially multimodal and the support of the distribution is disconnected. Multimodal behavior can also occur as a consequence of social interactions as presented in the example on the right. Current state-of-the-art methods learn a multimodal distribution with single generator models that map a continuous latent space to the desired target distribution conditioned on the input. We find that these models assign a non-zero probability to regions that have no support in the ground truth distribution and therefore predict so-called out-of-distribution samples. The problem emerges because neural networks are continuous functions that preserve the topology of the latent space. Therefore, a single generator model is theoretically incapable of learning a multimodal distribution on disconnected supports. The only solutions are to make the latent space discrete or the function discontinuous. We propose to decompose the problem into two steps. For the first step, we introduce the path mode network that identifies the main modes in the scene. Second, the path mode network selects the appropriate generator to predict trajectories for the specific mode. For a given scene, the model encodes the observation and computes physical and social attention. Conditioned on the features and the latent distribution, we have a set of generators where each generator learns a specific distribution PG. To select the appropriate generators, we pass the features to the path mode network that estimates a distribution over the generators. Then, we can sample different generators from this distribution and predict multimodal trajectories. The key aspect here is the path mode network that estimates the probability of generators based on the input and allows us to predict trajectories for unseen scenes with varying numbers of modes. For training our method, we elaborate an alternating training scheme where we optimize the path mode network and the encoder and generators with an expectation maximization-like algorithm. We compare our method against state-of-the-art methods on the ETH and UCY dataset. While achieving competitive results, we do not produce new state-of-the-art results on these benchmarks. However, model evaluation based on ADE and FDE metrics is not sufficient when assessing the quality of predictions. That's because these metrics do not consider the overall quality of predictions and thus are unable to measure out of distribution samples. We use a recall and precision metric that is commonly used in the GAN literature. While recall measures the coverage of all ground truth modes, precision accounts for the ratio of generated trajectories lying inside of the ground truth support. The precision metric is directly related to the number of out of distribution samples. Using real trajectory data for evaluation has limits because it only has one ground truth trajectory for a single observation. We, therefore, evaluate our method on the forking path dataset that provides multiple human annotated realistic future trajectories for a single observation. While existing methods outperform MGGON on the traditional ADE and FDE metrics, they attain only very low precision with comparable recall. As a result, MGGON achieves state-of-the-art on the combined F1 measure. We find that these methods trade off precision for better ADE and FDE. In an additional experiment on our synthetic dataset, we compare our methods with single and multi-generator baselines as well as models with discrete latent space. We find that MGGON with our proposed path mode network outperforms single and multi-generator baselines on the recall and precision metric. We find that the GAN L2 baseline produces many out-of-distribution samples while MGGON learns the ground truth distribution. Here, we can also see the probabilities for the different generators estimated by the PM network that allow us to select and deactivate particular generators for the scene. Moreover, we show that our multi-generator method achieves better results than the single generator baseline when both models use the same number of parameters. As a consequence, we see that the computational cost for a single trajectory expressed in max is significantly lower for MGGON compared to the single generator baseline since we only sample one single small generator during inference. In summary, we identified and discussed the limitations of single generator methods to learn multimodal trajectory distributions. As a solution to the aforementioned problem, we propose a novel multi-generator method that consists of a path mode network and multiple generators. Finally, we demonstrate that our method achieves a higher F1 score on the FPD and shows to be computationally more efficient than the baselines. 
Thank you for watching the summary of our ICCV21 paper.